Hello everyone, I'm Farmer Sim, and welcome to episode 8 of the Let's Play series here down on Zilonka. So I hope you're all doing very well and having a great day. Right, so we have uh, skipped forward a couple of months. Uh, we are now in the month of March. Uh, I, we were in uh, January, I think it was, at the end of the last episode, and obviously there's not a great deal going on in January and February. Uh, the contracts menu was pretty bleak. Um, we didn't have much going on on the farm as it was we've got one field to work in we have this complete mess over here which was our red beet field i've literally done nothing in it since we took those red beets out the ground uh so this needs a whole load of work doing we're going to cultivate it under and obviously get it prepped and we're going to drill it with grass because we do need a grass field in order for us to keep our cows fed uh, and to produce hay as it were at the minute um we do still have a good backlog of grass in the silo uh, sorry not in the silo in the uh, in the fermenter over there that is fermenting away to make silage um but something that i have just discovered uh, and i've been uh, been playing around for the last couple of hours just trying to get my head around what to do and at the minute i'm not i'm not entirely sure what i'm going to do it seems at the minute that the cows are not producing milk um and it's through no fault of mine. The cows have been fed. I did uh, feed them when I first got them. I, f I bought a couple of bags of total mixed ration to make sure that they had something to eat, as it were, before uh, in the, in the short term. While I uh, got myself together to, you know, with the production systems over there, the the fermenting silo and the uh, the TMR mixer and whatnot. Um, so yeah, so I was I, that was going to be my initial plan. Make sure they had some total mixed ration. I forked out for a few bags of it. Um, but up to now, especially in the fast forward of time from January through to now, they still have produced zero litres of milk. As you can see there, their productivity is at 100%. Their health is at 100%. Uh, they do, I, I know you can see there, the total mix ration uh, amount in the feed uh, numbers there is now down to 261 litres. But that's just as a result of fast forwarding time. They do still have hay and they do still have grass. But when I started fast forwarding time, they had several thousand litres of the stuff. Uh, but as you can see there, there, there is zero litres of milk. And what I have just done before starting to record this, uh, I made a, I, I saved the game. I took the tractor and trailer over to the cow barn. I, I used Easy Dev and filled it with total mix ration and straw, made sure that the, the cow barn was completely topped up. All the numbers were at maximum health-wise and stuff, as they still are now. Um, and then once I knew they were topped up, I fast-forwarded time really quickly using Easy Dev uh, from where we are now in March right the way through to April, uh, the, the second day in April. Uh, and they still had not produced a single litre of milk. So... It would seem, I think, at the minute, the only thing I can put that down to is that there is a problem with that mod, the cow barn itself. That's the only thing I can put it down to. I would have expected the cows to have produced some kind of milk by now. Uh, they're, they're producing slurry, they're producing manure, but no milk. Um, and I was really banking on that milk because I need money, don't I? You know, this this series, we're, in it, we're at episode 8. I appreciate it has been a relatively slow-moving series so far, but that was kind of the idea. Um, it was never going to be a big bucks you know super big machinery massive fields loads of money really quickly kind of thing it was going to be a relatively slow burning but hopefully kind of interesting series um so yeah i was i really needed that milk so what i'm the i feel my hands are a bit tired here what i the only thing i can think of doing because i'm i'm not a modder i'm not uh big up and uh knowledge on how to amend mods that don't work that's completely beyond my my scope so the only thing I can think of doing is replacing that cow barn with something else. Um, now, I'm not going to take a financial hit as a result of it. I've obviously, I hope you can appreciate it's completely beyond anything I've got the power to control. If the mod doesn't work, um, then what can I do? So what I may well have to do is uh, once once we've got this episode done and dusted, as it were, I, I will probably have to uh, spend a bit of time deleting that one and replacing it with another cow barn that hopefully fingers crossed will work and i'll top up the numbers and make sure the numbers are exactly as they are currently so i'll have to jot everything down i'm not going to lose money but i'm not going to benefit money so i'll, I'll have to you know, well i'm sure some of you all understand how it works i'll just i'll stick some money into the into the bank account using easy dev place down what i need to place down and then retract any money that has landed as a result and, and you know left on top of it so uh we will essentially potentially the next episode 
we may well have a completely different cow barn, but we'll have the same amount of money in the bank. We'll have the same amount of cows, uh, hopefully around the same age, and I might not be able to do much about that, but fingers crossed I might be able to make sure that they have produced some milk. Um, but yeah, because I needed it. That's the whole point of doing it, isn't it? To make milk and, uh, and make money from the milk. Uh, milk can be quite valuable, so um, yeah, I really needed it. <laughs> anyway, right, well that's that anyway. There's, as I say, that currently I'm not going to do anything about that right this second because it might take a little bit of time. Uh, so what we're going to do today, today's focus is primarily going to be in this field. So we're going to run the cultivator, we're going to raise this ground and get it completely stripped of all this horror, and horror that we can see in front of us, all the weeds. Uh, and we are going to we're going to prep it we're going to lime it and we are going to get some grass down now the cows do have uh what have they got in? they've got 33,256 liters of slurry uh if i go to our field menu in here this is field 60 i believe so 31,132 liters of slurry is apparently what this ground will take so appreciate that that this, these numbers here, I believe, work off base game and they don't take into consideration precision farming. Uh, so there's a possibility I might not have, by a very small amount, enough slurry to completely do this field. But either way, because of the slurry tanker that I did purchase in the last episode, I think it would be a good idea to make use of it anyway. Uh, so we, we will uh, cultivate, we will lime, and I am going to... We're going to drill with grass and we are going to use what slurry we have in that cow barn put it into the slurry tanker, spread it on that ground and just make use of it because it will save us some money in on top of the fertilizer. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to jump in our Fiat and we're going to hook up to the cultivator. Check fuel. Yeah, fuel levels were all right. We're all good. Looks like it could do with a repair at some point soon, but hopefully we should uh, be able to soldier forward for now without having to spend a bit of money on uh, repair works. Quite disappointed about that milk thing, to be honest, because I really do like that cow bar. It's, I felt it was a really authentic, perfectly suited uh, cow shed. Now, of course, if I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain it's not something I've missed. It is as simple as making sure the cows are fed. They've got, they've got their food. They've got straw bedding. Um, they should be producing milk, so I'm almost certain it's not a mistake that I've made, which tends to be the case. Uh, anyway, right, let's get ourselves here, let's get working in this field, and start progressing, hopefully, a little bit further forward. So, we'll get this job done, cinematic time of course, and I'll see you when it's finished.
Right, there we go. Job done. A freshly cultivated field does look lovely, doesn't it? A whole lot better than what it looked like before, anyway. Well, that was a right mess. Right, so. It's a start. Well, let's get ourselves back over around, behind us there to the farm. We'll disconnect this cultivator and we need to get right on with a bit of lime spreading. So we'll jump uh, over to the little shed there, hook up the lime spreader, run over to our little uh, fertiliser tank there and top up with a bit of lime and crack on with the works. Uh, it gently does it here. There's not a lot of room to manoeuvre around this shed because the doors are ridiculously small. I think we might just have it there. Excellent stuff. Right. Okay. Over to the lime tank. Top up. I'm going to do this job off camera because there's going to be a lot of backing and toing. And obviously we have just literally done some field work in the uh, cinematic there. So I'll get this done. Hopefully it's not going to cost too much with the lime. Let's, uh, let's have a quick look at what it costs per tank, remind myself. So we'll bring up the menus there, fill up. What is it per tank? 269, right, okay. It's going to take a few of these, I appreciate that, but uh, fortunately we've got some money to spend on it, but it's got to be done. The pH values of the soil need to be brought up to what they want to be, to what they need to be. I think what, uh, what I'm going to do, well, as I say, I'll get this job done off camera and then I will then hook up the slurry tanker. We'll get as much slurry into the soil as possible. Um, and then we'll run the cedar, plant the grass and top up with uh, solid fertiliser if need be. So, uh, right, I'll crack on with this and you'll see me very shortly. Right, there we go. All lined up. It's cost us 809 quid in total to get that field sorted out with lime, so that's not so bad at all. Now, while doing that job, I've, I've just been pondering in my mind as to what I'm going to do about this whole cow milk not producing situation. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do, um, I'm quite keen to see if I can get it solved, pretty much, because... I was going to be relying on that milk, like I said before, forgive me for repeating myself, but yeah, I, I, that milk was going to be a big part of our farm's income, I felt. Uh, I know I don't have a huge amount of cows, don't get me wrong, I'm not expecting tens of thousands of dollars or anything, pounds or money, so to speak, um, but it was still going to be a relatively important part of our, uh, of our revenue. So what I'm going to do before we crack on with anything more, I am going to hopefully try and get it sorted. Uh, now what I'm going to do, because I had... I had kind of forgotten that that cow barn had cost me £100,000, euros, you know, in-game credits, whatever you want to call it. Um, so if I do decide, or if I do find another cow barn, or sorry, I don't, I don't need to find one, I've, I've, I've got a few in mind that I'm going to check. Uh, but essentially, if there's a price difference, if it's less than what I forked out for that one, then I am going to replace the money back into the account and just essentially... Assuming it all works, pretend it never happened. So if I find a cow barn that works and it costs £70,000, for example, then I'm going to make sure that that £30,000 is back into the account because uh, I'm not... Uh, I really don't fancy losing out on money uh, just because the particular mod, the particular cow barn doesn't function as it should do. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to uh, save the game now, make sure I have a, a backup of it, so to speak, and um, yeah... That's what how, how I'm going to uh, approach this, I think. So I shall for you guys, it'll be a matter of seconds. For me, I have no idea how long it's going to take, um, but I'm going to see if I can get this sorted. So see you shortly. Right, fixed. Problem solved. The cows are now producing milk, as they should be. If I bring up the heads-up display there, you will see they have 31 litres of milk in the barn now that they have produced which is excellent. It was down to a mod, of course. It wasn't this cow barn mod. What I did do, it has uh, just taken me quite a while, but I uh, essentially deleted, sold the cows, deleted the barn, placed down another barn, completely different one, bought the cows again, 
uh, manually topped them up with a load of food and then fast forwarded time to see if they produced milk and they didn't produce milk either so the problem wasn't down to this particular mod uh, as it happens it was the so what, what I essentially did was I came back into the game after creating the save so I came back into the game as it was I then deactivated any of the extra animal mods so I de deactivated the animal food overview mod um, the uh, and the enhanced animal system mod uh, deactivated those two came into the game filled them back up again with food and straw fast forwarded time and lo and behold we have milk so that's fine i'm really not going to lose any sleep over not having those mods activated in the game uh, i literally don't care the main thing is they are now producing milk so the one thing that i have benefited from though uh, and it was a mistake of mine because i say i clicked on save by accident is the cows now have one trailer load of total mix ration that they didn't have before so going into the animal menu there they have 12,197 litres of total mix ration as opposed to what they had before which was 66 litres uh, but everything else is exactly the same numbers straw slurry uh, the manure they still have uh, over in the bunker the hay and the grass in the feed mix there uh, so I'm sure you will all uh, allow me that little bit of a reprieve from that one if you don't mind uh, it wasn't my fault i didn't do it int intentionally i just uh, it was one of those muscle memory things where i just clicked on the save button and then immediately went don't so uh yeah it is what it is but the main thing is they're producing milk and eventually over the coming weeks months i'm going to be able to sell it but i'm not going to be able to do anything with it right now until i get myself some form of milk tanker which i don't have so, right, anyway, normal service resumes. That's the main thing. So let's go and take this trailer back over to the farm. Uh, what I think I need to do now is we're going to spread some slurry. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to take the slurry out of that cow barn, uh, fill up the tanker, make a few more trips back and two. We're going to uh, top up the nitrogen levels as best as we can on the field that we just lined. And then we will get the grass seed down. Oh, there we go. Oh, I have just turned manual... Did I turn manual attach off? No, I didn't. I've been back into that many times. <laughs> uh, right, so, slurry tanker. Let's go do that, shall we? Right. Here we go. I must admit, I'm, re I'm really quite glad that the, there wasn't a problem with this cow barn mod in, in the end. Um, the one I had in mind, the one I was going to go and replace it with, is the one, uh, any of you who are familiar, who have watched uh, Scroft's farmhand series back in the days of Carmsden, he had the, it was the cow barn that George had in his, uh, in his yard, that L-shaped one. Uh, that was the one I was going to replace it with. Um, it did kind of look alright, but it wasn't. It didn't have quite as large of a footprint as this one. It did still have an external pasture, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to go for it. Um, but yeah, I still think this one suits this map much better. Uh, so I'm really, really quite happy that I've been able to get to the bottom of that. Right. Anyway, so let's. Where's the slurry pit? The slurry pit's around the back, isn't it? So let's roll on round. Get filled up. Bring up the menus there, just so I know what I'm doing. Oh, I've already filled this one up, haven't I? Last time, right, okay. Right to the field. And we'll get spreading some slurry. Right, I have decided that I am going to swap tractors here, though, because this one's at pretty much hovering around the 50% wear damage uh, mark. So, using course play and auto drive, as I always like to do, that will start potentially stopping so we'll jump in this one we'll get the work done with this and i do need to run the run the fiat over to the workshop and get it fixed and spend a couple of quid on uh, bringing that back to life but this one is pretty much fine for now so let's put that one up there nope that's not going to work is it let's line it straighter there we go Oh, goodness me. There we go. Right. Let's get spreading some slurry.
Right, there we go. Job done. Slurry spread. Every single litre, bar two, have been used. So, if we bring up the uh, heads up display very quickly, you can see we've got two litres left in the tank and zero left in the cow barn. So that was uh, pretty excellent. But yeah, job done. It's a cracking little thing, this. I, as the hawk-eyed viewers of you might have recognised that during that little... Uh, cinematic I, uh, I it was my mistake but the course play course was set out completely wrong uh, the game says this has a 15 meter spread when I sorted the course play course out course play recognized it as having a 9.9 .9 meter spread uh, now generally as a rule course play is usually the one of the two that is more correct uh, and I figured right well I better go we'll go with what course play says uh, but no it turns out that once I'd got started and started filming it I realized that no the the, the width of the thing is actually 15 meters not 9.9 .9, so I should have uh, I should have listened to the game there and not course play but either way job's done I know what how, I know how to uh, sort that out for the future anyway uh, so sorted slurry spread now all that's left to do is get a bit of drilling done now i think what i am going to do i think it would be a sensible thing because this is uh i suppose of the two tractors that we have here this is definitely my favorite so i think the best thing for me to do right now because i'd like to use this with the cedar is get this down to the shop very quickly spend a few grand on it get it fixed up back to 100 percent and then we'll cut back over here and we'll hook up the seed drill get back into the field and get our grass sown. Right. It's usually somewhere around here. There we go. That'll do. The trigger is usually about there. There we go. So, 726 quid. That's not so bad. Uh, I'm not repainting it for 4,614. No, that can wait. Well... I don't think I'll ever need to repaint this one anyway because of the uh, the skin that I uh, equipped it with. It's got that kind of rough and ready look about it, so I don't really want to lose that. I quite like it. Right, anyway, back to the farm. Let's get drilling. Right, in we go. Let's hitch up this... Uh, drill. I can't actually remember if we've got any seed in there or not, to be honest. I need to uh, remind myself. Right, where are we? Bump, bump. There we go. Let's bring up the heads up display. 382 litres. And somehow I don't think that's going to uh, go far enough. So let's get ourselves around to the seed tank. Pick it up first, eh? Fortunately, looking at the soil taps that we've got and what we might expect seed-wise, I think we are going to be somewhere between the standard and low seed rates, thankfully. Uh, so that's all good. Now, which one's my seed? This one's my seed tank, isn't it? There we go. Jobs are good. What are we out there? £555. Okay, so let's select grass. Bump, bump, bump. There we go. Nicely done. Cover back on. Lovely. Right. Back to the field.
There we go. Job done. Grass field drilled. Now, strangely enough, even after liming the field previously, um, the pH value just seems to say good at the minute and not perfect, which is a bit uh, confusing. The nitrogen's fine, obviously, uh, but it would seem that I may well have to very quickly run the lime spreader back over this and then get it rolled as well. So, uh, it's a, a tiny little bit of work to finish off in this field, but for now, we're going to call it here for this field work. It's all sorted. Uh, so, yeah, that's all of our fields that we own at the minute growing away, which is good. And obviously this grass field is primarily, initially anyway, going to be, uh, the purpose of it is to be tedded up and turned into hay. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to purchase or rent lease some kind of tedder. Um, we've got the baler, um, so I can uh, use that if need be. And I think I've got the pickup wagon, haven't I? Yeah, I think I've got a pickup wagon. Goodness me, I need to, yes I have, forage wagon. <laughs> remind myself what I've got on here it's been such a while um but yeah right so job job in that respect so let's get back over to the farm um let's jump back in here actually because it's uh, it's quite a noisy thing this tractor isn't it I think I do need to speak up a bit over it uh, so you can hear me clearly so I think pretty much there we go peace and quiet yeah i think i am going to pretty much call it here for today's episode now i do appreciate that this is a really a pretty slow burning series so far i get that um obviously financially i'm limited to what i can do i am really quite chuffed that i've sorted that cow barn problem and the milk production um now that they now that the cows are producing milk i think it would be a good idea for me to consider getting some more cows uh, and, and increasing the, the pace of that milk production. Obviously, with increasing the number of cows comes uh, increasing the, num the amount of food that they need, and that's fine. But that, ca that cow barn can hold 100 cows, and at the minute I've only got 10. Uh, so we have got a, a, a fair way to go until we've uh, stocked up with the cows. And I think 10, 10 cows at 12 months old costs about, I think it's just under 12 grand, about 11,800 quid. Um, so we'll, we'll, we will get there with that. I'm sure once we've stocked up on the cows, the milk production will speed up and we'll start to get a bit more money in per month. Um, I'm considering activating the automatic milk sale mod uh, so that, that the milk... Essentially, that that will save me a bit of money, won't it? Instead of having to go out and buy a milk tanker, the automatic milk sale mod will just sell the milk at the end of each month. At the end of each day, sorry. Uh, that's how I have it working over on Court Farms and it seems to work quite well in that respect. Um, but it's something to ponder over. The, the other thing I did, it was mentioned, it was suggested to me, sorry, uh, quite a few episodes ago on uh, Zilonka here. Um, but somebody mentioned the uh, the concept of the government subsidy mod. Now, now I, I was interested in it. I downloaded it. I've got it installed. Um, and I think it can give you the two variants. If I go into the construction menu, I'll show you. Um, it's in the, if I go to productions and then generators yeah it's in here so the, you've got the uh the which one's which so the, the government sub, sub subsidy which will give you 8.4 million pounds a month which i think is quite extreme or you've got the municipal subsidy which will give 8.8400 a month um that if, if i was to go for one it would be that one but but i'm still holding off on it because i think i'd rather try and do it on my own um as I say, even though it is a very slow-burning uh, series, I, I think I would still like to go out on my own. And, and as I just said, hopefully now if we get, start getting milk produced, uh, we can start hopefully getting a little bit more money into the bank account. Uh, so anyway, as I say, the fields are sorted. That grass field again, I think, needs slightly topping up with a bit more lime and then needs rolling and then that's all tickety-boo. Uh, so for now... Ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to call it here for today's episode. Uh, I do hope you found it even remotely fun and interesting. As I say, apologies that it is a very slow-burning series. Um, but in the same respect, I kind of like that about it. As, uh, it's, it's not too fast-paced. There's not too much going on. I'm not rushed off my feet uh, working on the farm. Um, There's quite a, a nice, relaxed feel to it, I must admit. 
so as I say, I do hope you've enjoyed it and found it even remotely fun and interesting. Uh, if you're new to my channel and you like my content, you like the way I'm doing things, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the channel if you like. Uh, giving the video a like if you can, hitting that like button does do wonders for the channel and uh, helps YouTube do its thing, uh, the algorithm and all that. Uh, and as always, there is a host of links in the video description below with my Giants Partner promo code. If any of you are in the market for a DLC, an add-on, a season pass or even the full game itself uh, and you like the idea of helping a content creator out at the same time as making that purchase, I would be massively appreciative. So take care everyone and I shall see you in the next episode. <laughs>